What's up guys, it's Brandon here from Tidewater Aerial and now we're gonna start our frame swap. So this Dark Max is going to be converted to the Chameleon um, five inch frame. So let's get to it. First, I'm just gonna take everything off and just kind of lay it out and soon you'll see the Chameleon frame coming to life and then we'll be putting the parts on there so stay tuned and here we go my parts are finally in I got these from uh, fly now RC or fly fly RC now dot com uh, there's not too far from where I live but um so like I mentioned earlier we're doing a big upgrade for the uh, dark max furry bee so we are going to be actually swapping out the frame and the motors and all the other guts should be transferring over. So right here, I'll show you the motors I'm gonna try to, well, I'm gonna put in. Uh, so I went with the uh, 2500 Sam Gook series, a lot lower profile than the uh, other DYSs that I went with, but should be a, a better quality motor, I think. Um, well. That's the intention, so if you want to just check it out there. Um, looks like it's a pretty good uh, setup. So we'll go ahead and slap those in there in our build. And also, here is the famous Chameleon uh, five inch orange frame. I'll be putting that together. I heard it's really easy. It uh, should, be, should be good and easy to put together. So let's just go ahead and open it up. And, see what it comes with oh and also they threw in a nice little strap so they can get some some bonus points i like it you can never have too many straps so um i'll go ahead and open this thing kind of pretty good packaging it looks like i've watched a couple of builds online with these things so i think i'm going to be pretty pretty confident with putting it together so nice solid um one one piece base plate similar to the baby hawk or the uh furry bee so if you look at the footprints they're, they're pretty close together so hopefully it'll fly similar maybe more improved on certain things but just looking at the thicknesses hard to get the it looks a little bit on a little bit thicker but i think they're just looking at them, to, uh, the the dark max is definitely a thinner frame, so that's good. So we'll uh, hopefully we'll get some more life out of this thing. And the cool thing about this is, it's supposedly it's got a lifetime guarantee. It even said it, I think, on here somewhere. Uh, World's only lifetime warranty frame. So we'll see. Hopefully, it don't ever break, so I don't have to worry about it. But. Um, overall, it feels nice and smooth. All the edges, there's nothing catching. Uh, all the holes look nice and, you know, nice and circular and sharp cuts and stuff. So, looks good. All right, so let's get the rest of the guts out. So they give you a nice little exploded eyes and exploded assembly view of everything. I, I think we're gonna, I think we're gonna be good. Um, even calls out bolt sizes and stack up so and it's got step by step so I think I'll be able to knock this one out and here's all the hardware all right so they give you another strap cool I got two down so I'll be all nice and fresh with all my new straps here's all the hardware let's go ahead and throw that away so we got our this looks like our uh, back for our VTX connection. Um, it looks like you got two of these, and these are your, uh, they call it the action camera mount, which is the GoPro mount that's adjustable. So there's the other one. And then here's all the hardware and the dog bone uh, standoffs. So we'll be going through those as we need them. And here is some more carbon fiber parts. 
looks like the uh, camera mounts, the top part for the camera mount, and the top piece, which is going to be where your battery sits. So, right here we got our battery mounting plate. This is our GoPro mounting plate, and this is our um, FPV camera side. Uh, they actually mount the camera um, hinge point it goes right through that center of that hole right there. So, should be good. And here's the fancy orange. I like it. The orange, uh, so you can just envision it. They kind of they mount kind of like this. And then your run cam sticks out there, and actually they're upside down. So it's kind of like that on the front of the quad. Nice, heavy duty, beefy front end to keep that run cam last as long as possible. So, yeah, that's pretty much it in the, in the packaging. I'm going to go ahead and get everything organized, and then we'll just start knocking around. And uh, so, stay tuned. All right guys, so I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, rip this thing apart and we'll come back and it'll all be, the bottom of the frame will be pretty much removed and the motors will be um, disassembled from the frame and we'll continue from there, all right? All right guys, I've got it all stripped down. Um, top part of the frame is gone, taken off the bottom part, so um, I'm just gonna leave this here, I'm um, waiting on uh, parts coming from uh, the manufacturer that's sending me stuff. Um, I just heard about this company. It's called Fly Now or FlyRCNow.com. They're, um, I believe, they're based out of Richmond. So uh, if you guys need any parts, check them out. Um, I was able to order something last night, and it will be here tomorrow. I'm told. So just got my new build done. I'm upgraded from the Dark Max to the Chameleon 5 inch. Um, nice frame here. I'm really liking the way it went together. Everything's solid. It's definitely a better option than what I had before. The battery's no longer on the bottom mount, it's on the top mount, so I won't be destroying them whenever I have to slam down the ground or just general landing won't wear them out. So this thing's going to be awesome. I went ahead and got some uh, DYS 2500 uh, props on this thing. They look awesome. They call them the Sam Gook series. You can see right there. Nice little, uh, good little paint job. They got like the little ninja star look on them. They went together nice and easy. Everything fit up great. Um, nice new way to mount my uh, FPV antenna and my uh, radio RC antennas. So we got the nice uh, parallel. It's hard to see a little bit, but you can see this guy right here. And then on the back, you see the one coming straight out. So that'll give me a good little, good reception. So when I take my dives, this one will start shooting out the longer range. So should keep me good on the connection. Um, my next mod will probably be the R9M module for the FR Sky setup. That'll give me the 900 megahertz range, just in case this one doesn't cut it for me. But I've been running this one for a while. It's just gonna allow me to push it a little bit more. I did end up using the same Baby Hawk, or not Baby Hawk, Dark Max, um, props. These are 5.1 inch props. I was a little concerned about the clearance, but if you can see it looks like it's a pretty good I mean you got maybe a quarter inch half inch gap there, so it's all good. 